We thank you for joining us here on the town hall tonight. We have a lot to get to, but remember you can always send us your tips by texting 716-849-2220. First on the town hall tonight, that bomb threat at Buffalo State College just before 11 o'clock this morning, causing all activities to be canceled, commuting students to be sent home, and resident students to be sent to their dorms. University police say the threat involved several buildings on campus, but would not say which ones. Orders for students to evacuate caused traffic issues in the area, and students on campus told Two On Your Side that they were frustrated about a lack of communication from college administrators. Buffalo Police, Fire, University Police, the FBI, ATF, and Erie County Sheriff's Office all responded to the scene. And we want to welcome to the conversation tonight retired Buffalo Police Captain Jeff Ronaldo for some perspective on the overall law enforcement approach in these situations. Jeff, thanks for being with us tonight. Thank you for having me. And I want to start with this. When there is a threat at a place as big as Buffalo State College with lots of people, you have all of those law enforcement agencies responding. Can you tell us a little bit about how that response is coordinated and how they anticipate or, or plan for it? Sure. So generally, the institution that calls 911 is going to report whatever the nature of the threat that it was. And then Buffalo Police Dispatch will send officers there to assist the institution, in this case, Buff State, with whatever resources they feel they need. Um, my understanding is that this was a bomb threat, so that would naturally trigger a response from Buffalo Fire. Uh, in addition, the college has the ability to reach out and request assistance from any other agencies that they feel may be of assistance. In your time with the Buffalo Police, do you recall emergency response training with Buffalo State and what was involved there? And if you're just kind of looking here from the outside as you are, was today's response by the book, so to speak? Uh, absolutely. So. BPD works very hand in hand with Buff State Police. Obviously the campus is entirely located in the city of Buffalo and the D district officers are quite familiar with the campus and with the officers that work there. So anytime an incident would occur on campus that required additional resources, uh, Buffalo Police responds anytime that they're required to or requested. I want to ask you about training really quickly, because obviously when you're training, you're doing so in a situation where it's it's really just a drill. But when you are preparing, how do you prepare for the human element and how people are going to react? Because obviously they're going to be concerned. They may be afraid. You know, how do you how do you prepare for that and prepare yourselves to be able to deal with it? Sure. So it's always a great unknown, right, of the best laid plans. Um, that's why consistency of training making sure that the training is being conducted at the very least annually, if not more often. And the training is always designed around variables, things that may occur that are not necessarily part of the scenario. So that officers have the ability to be dynamic and respond to situations that arise as they're attempting to deal with the crisis at hand, which in this case was a bomb threat. We saw several students on social media commenting about the chaos of the alarms going off, commuters getting caught up in traffic as they tried to leave. How challenging is that as an officer? You're responding to a big scene like that. Students are trying to do what they're being told to do, um, but you know nothing is, is perfect. Um, and are there any particular evacuation issues with the way Buff State is laid out? Well, really, Buff State only has three means of egress from the campus on the city surface streets, uh, one on Elmwood, one on Grant, and one on Forest. So it does present a challenge if you do suddenly have a large number of people attempting to get their cars off of the campus at the same time. So it does present a challenge for responding officers to get in there. It also can require the redirection of resources to handle traffic control. So instead of uh, being engaged in the incident itself, they are simply there trying to move traffic so that other first responders can quickly get onto the campus. And finally, Jeff, you know, you look at this unfolding and you think it was Buff State today. Um, and you've responded to many similar scenes in your tenure as an officer. What is your message for not just students and parents as would be in the case here, but for any of us who might find ourselves in a situation where we're uh, in a large venue with a lot of other people, we have to get to safety. You know, you talk about police officers preparing. How can citizens prepare? 
Well, again, I think that you have to have trust in the plans, trust in the program that's in place to deal with these emergencies. Um, the number one thing that parents and anybody that finds themselves in a situation like this can do is remain calm. As difficult as it may be, remaining calm is the best plan of action for anybody. You have to trust that the plans are in place, that they're practiced, and that the first responders are doing their due diligence to ensure your safety and make sure that they can put a quick end to any type of threat that exists on in any location, whether it's a school, a shopping plaza, things of that nature. Some perspective tonight from retired Buffalo Police Captain Jeff Ronaldo joining us tonight on the Town Hall. Jeff, thanks again for your time. Thank you. And we have a live picture right now outside of Buff State. Our coverage continuing at 6 o'clock with two on your sides, Kelly Dudzik and Rob Hackford.